Oh, poor Jerry. I think I better go and get a little bit of fresh air. Hello? Hi, Bill. How are you? Hey, Ed. I'm okay. Good. So how about having a milkshake with us? Hmm, that sounds good. Okay. Okay, we'll see you soon. So, uh, where should I meet you, Ed? Hello? Hello? Oh. I'm gonna go and get some fresh air. Who knows? I might bump into them. Hey, Bill! You want a race? Sorry, Fred, but I'm looking for Ed Ole and Watt. Oh! I just saw them! Uh, going that way. Or maybe it was, uh, that way. Well, I don't really remember. Why don't you try the ice cream shop? Good idea, Fred. I'll do that. See you later, Bill! I found you guys. Yeah, yeah. we were wondering, wondering where you were. were. But you didn't. Ah, oh, well, no big deal. Anyway, we're not gonna lie to you. We managed to enjoy ourselves. You bet. <laughs> we gobbled down lots of ice cream. There. Here's your skateboard. You'll need it to follow us. Thanks. Move on! We don't have a second to lose! Could someone please explain what has gotten into you three? Why are you guys in such a hurry? Why? Because otherwise we'll be late! For what? Getting to the decoy cafe. But why are we going there? To watch the first episode of that new TV show, Running Dak! Why do you need me to come along? Well, you know, it looks really good and uh, you're our best friend and... Yeah, and we want you to be there. Actually, we run out of money for milkshakes. Oh, now I get it. Bye. 
be continued? To be continued? I hate waiting for the next episode! I really don't know how you can watch shows like this. It's based on true stories. You know, they say attacks. Well, we better get a move on, huh? Hey, aren't you gonna run away too? It takes a lot more than that to scare me. That's very brave, Bill. Especially with all the rumors going around at the moment. Uh, what rumors? A duck was attacked by an alligator last night, not too far away from here. Uh, you know, I think people are watching too much TV around here. Ciao, Bev. I'm okay. Oh, yeah. What are you doing here? You shouldn't eat ducks. It's not nice. All right already. Just go away and leave me alone. I'm in pain. Yeah, well, you better be a little more careful. I may not be so nice next time. What? <laughs> me be careful? <laughs> <laughs> should have it looked at. Look, Aldo, you can stay here tonight, and tomorrow I'll take you to see Dr. Cecil. He's a dentist, and he can help you. You should get some sleep now. Bill, yes, but... But I... But what? In fact, it's the first time I've slept at a duck's house. There's a first time for everything. Tomorrow, I'll bring you to a friend's place. Dr. Cecil, he's a dentist. No doubt he can surely do something for you. But for the moment, it's best if you can get some sleep. see the dentist but it's gotta be soon Cecil's office doesn't open for an hour and you can't go out looking like that you'll scare everybody we need a disguise but it's painful don't worry I'll go get you some medicine for the pain until then um uh, but Bill I need food <laughs> you need what for example um let's say anything Anything except duck.
Okay, I'm leaving now. But when will you be back? I'll do my best, but don't you worry. I'll bring you back some ice cubes, some aspirin, and a duck mask. What am I meant to do until you get back? Don't do anything. Just relax. Trust me. I'll get everything you need. Okay. Aldo, I'm back, and look what I've got! Fantastic! Wow! You even found the duck mask! Yeah, in your size, too! Does your tooth still hurt? Yeah, it still hurts, but even worse, I'm so hungry! Don't worry, I'll find you something to eat. Just take care of your toothache with the aspirin and ice cubes. Hi, Bill. Feeling a little hungry? Hello. 
Well, the uh, fact is, I'm as hungry as an alligator today. Ooh, all right. Uh, uh, what would you like? Actually, I'd like a hundred ice cream cones. A hundred? My goodness, you are as hungry as an alligator. Unfortunately, three little troublemakers threw all my cones in the street. You want some help? Uh, no, thanks. Uh, but you could pick up all of the ones you find around the store, and uh, everything you can find, you can keep. Excellent. Thanks. Come back anytime. Here are your ice creams. Think you'll have enough? <laughs> yeah, that should be fine. Oh, I'm sure it will. You're as hungry as an alligator. Um, thanks. Um, thank you. <laughs> hey, no problem. Bill, I think I ate too much ice cream. Don't tell me your tooth hurts even more. Oh, owie. Well, the dentist is open now, and we have a mask, so let's get going. But I can't see anything under this mask. Don't you worry. I'll help you.
Hello, Cecil. Bill, how nice to see you. Guess what, Cecil? I have a real patient for you. A real patient? You, you mean with real teeth? Uh, yes, you could say that, all right. Oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, all those teeth just for me. Come in. Let's take a look. Here you go, Aldo. A souvenir for you. You see, Aldo, that wasn't so bad, was it? Bill, I cannot thank you enough for bringing me my first real patient. It's no big deal. What are friends for? But really, I'm very serious. And so here, please take this little gift as my thanks to you. An elixir of vitamins that I've just invented. Okay, but then what? Trust me, drink it. <laughs> well, Bill, you'll be able to jump high and far. Wow, cool. I bet you're all asking yourselves why I asked you to meet me here. Bill, I know. You want to offer us all double milkshakes. You're taking us for a picnic? You found me a new patient. No, guys. I want you to meet a new friend of mine, Aldo. Who is not a real duck. Oh, man. What's next? Okay, Aldo, remove the mask. We've got to stop him before he hurts himself. Yeah, or somebody else. He's never even driven a scooter before. He seems to be heading for the other side of town. We've got to try and catch up with him before he gets away. I'm right behind you. Okay, Waddle? Thanks for coming to find me, Bill. Well, we could see you were in trouble. Are you upset with me? No, oh, don't worry, Waddle. It's all over now. Yes, you're okay. Except for that bump. A bump? Where? We better have this checked at the hospital. Hospital? Oh no! I'm going to die! Waddle, Waddle, don't be silly! Oh, I'm dying fast! Oh, give me a break! How are we gonna get him to the hospital? Well, I can take him. Okay, good idea, but make it fast.
doctor says he'll be a little dizzy for a while, but he'll be just fine. But Waddle's always been a little dizzy. That's for sure. <laughs> well, Waddle's okay, but Cecil's scooter is a wreck. Cecil is going to be so mad. Cecil's scooter. I can fix it for you. I just need a new motor and tires and a headlight. That's great. I'll go and look for the parts. I'll meet you in front of your apartment. Okay, I'll see you there. What do you think? Great work, Aldo. It looks just like new. Ah, uh, it's nothing. For an alligator. Let's take it back to Cecil. It's nothing. You also helped fix Cecil's scooter. Well, Cecil made my toothache go away, so I owed him that at least. In any case, we appreciate it. And you're welcome here anytime. Gee, you guys are really kind, and you taste good too. <laughs> Just kidding. Speaking of food, what do you say we all get some milkshakes? A great idea. Woohoo, a double milkshake. Make that a triple. Super. Off yes. we go.
Bell! Hmm. Yeah? Uh, uh, what? Wake up. You're gonna be late. Late? Late for what? For your driver's license exam. Huh? My driver's license exam? Come on, Bill. You gotta get going. Okay, okay, I'm awake. How much time do I have? Just enough time to get there. Okay, okay, I'm out of here. See you later. Sorry, Mr. Uh, I mean, madam. Silence, useless dirtbag! Get ready! Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm ready. Go, go, go! Okay, dirtbag. This is the situation. You are gonna follow me on your scooter. And do exactly what I do. And if I make a mistake? You can kiss your license goodbye. Ah, yes. <laughs> of course. I see. Now, mount your scooter and let's see what you can do. I'm ready, sir. Then let's burn rubber! duty as an officer to give you your scooter license. Woohoo! Congratulations! You've got a real talent with scooters. Thanks! I own this scooter shop, and I need a good driver to enter in the big scooter race. Are you interested? Well, uh, yeah, sure. <laughs> you bet! Excellent! First, you must qualify in the test race. If you win, you'll be my driver for the big scooter race. Okay, I'm your duck. Great! Now let's see you go out and win this test race. No problem. Well, duck, in my book, you're still a rookie. I'm betting you'll crash and burn. You're just jealous. First race, Bill. Are you nervous? A little bit, but I'm ready. Good. Win this race and you can go on to greater things, Bill. Very cool. When does the racing start? Right now.
Congratulations, Bill. They never had a chance against you. You're a natural. Jeez, I can't believe it. This is great. Consider yourself our new driver. Thanks. Cecil Claire! Look, it's Bill! He's driving a scooter! Ciao! Bye! Hi ho, you guys! Bill's got a driving license? Bill, Bill, take me for a ride! Yeah. Forget it, Waddle! Aldo, why don't we do something special tonight? All I can think about right now is putting something special in my stomach. What about seeing a movie? Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> or how about a good play? Bill? Or the Manic Tadpoles are having an outdoor concert tonight. Bill? Or else... Bill? What? Oh, I'm sorry, Aldo. Did you have an idea? Do you know what day it is today? Uh, well, the 20th. It looks like we already have something planned. Ah! Oh my gosh! Bev's birthday! It's too late to throw a party now. We still have a little time, but there isn't a moment to lose. Listen up. Here's what we're gonna do. You're gonna bake a cake. Cecil and Claire will write a little card. Ed, Ole, and Waddle will buy flowers, and I'll go round up all their friends. Then we'll all meet back at the Decoy Cafe. Got it. See you there.
everyone's here. The cake is ready. I wrote the little card. We wrote the little card. Ed, do you have the flowers? Well, actually... Ed! Um, um, we don't have the flowers. But we do have a real good excuse. Yeah, real good. We forgot. You certainly didn't forget how to act like idiots. All right, I get it. I'll just have to do this. Hello, sir. I need to get a beautiful bouquet of flowers. Uh, of course, sir. What kind of flowers would you like? Her favorites are petunias. It has to be petunias. You're out of luck. I'm completely out of petunias. And I don't have any time to get any more because I have to pick up my kids at school. Wait! You can't do this to me. I've got to get a bouquet of petunias or I'm a dead duck. I'm really sorry, but I can't help. How about I go pick your kids up from school and you can go and get the petunias? Well... Oh, please! Okay. Bring my children here, and you'll have your flowers. It's a deal. Okay, I brought your kids home. Well, uh, unfortunately, I couldn't get the petunias. The bridge to the park has collapsed. Yeah, so? So, the only place to gather the petunias you're looking for is in the park. And there's no way to get to where the flowers are. There must be another way. There is one person who might be able to get you into the park. Madame Bavuski. Madame who? Madame Bavuski. She's right near the decoy cafe. She can work some magic. Yes, yes, I will try anything. Well, then you better hurry before her office closes. Goodbye, oh, and thanks.
Knock, knock. Yes, who is it? <clears throat> I'd like to speak to Madame Bavuski. Anyone there? Welcome. Hello, Bev. I am Madame Bavuski. What is the reason for your visit? Okay, I need your help. I need to go to the park, but... But the bridge is broken. Yeah, that's it. And you'd like me to rebuild the bridge? Well, I was hoping. This is really important. Hoping? Hoping what? Maybe that... Oh, never mind. I'm... Oh, this must sound crazy. And for what reason must you go to the park today? I have to gather some petunias for my best friend. It's her birthday today. Ah, a birthday that's different. Please sit yourself down there. Ready? Yes. <laughs> that should do it. Do what? Now you can jump high and far. Flying? Hmm, not quite, but you can jump far enough to get into the park. Thank you so much. But if you have trouble finding the petunias, ask Raoul the Crow. He will be able to help you. Look, those three numbskulls have done it again. They've scattered my entire stock of ice cream all over the place. Oh! <laughs> it's not funny, Bill. My shop opens in two minutes. I'm sorry. You're right. <laughs> I'll help you pick everything up real quickly.
Bill. So you see, all's well that ends well. Yes, but it's thanks to you, certainly not those three numbskulls. Thanks. See you soon. Looking for petunias? Just follow that path. Thanks, Raul. I'm in a hurry. Ah, ah. Good thing, because at this hour, I would hurry too. <laughs> Are you talking about the alligators? Oh, yes, sir. It's no time for a duke to be wandering so close to Swampwood. <laughs> too late to turn back now. I'm going. Oh, good luck, duke.
So, you gathered your petunias before the alligators picked you? Ha 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 ha! Woo hoo! Yes, it was scary, but Bev is gonna get a great bouquet. Yeah, it's not bad. I'd say that you're just jealous. Jealous of it, too. I'm out of here. Adios, Raul. best friend. Hmm, that's just impossible. Thank you, Bill. You made me really happy. You can thank the whole gang, because everybody helped. Well, I... many thanks for the petunias. Bye, Bill. Ciao. Hasta la vista. Goodbye. See you later. Oh, yeah. You won't see us for a while. Yeah, that goes for me, too. Did you get evicted again? Not this time. We found these flyers, and it turned out we won a free holiday trip. Ah, the sun, the ocean, the beach. And triple milkshakes. That's strange. I've seen those flyers all over Ducktown. Yeah, but we won the big prize! Paradise, here we come! Hey! Are going. They say that they've won a free holiday trip. Yeah, right. A free trip to Swampwood. What do you mean? Well, the driver looked like an alligator to me. Oh no, we must follow them.
on the triple milkshake. Which way to the pool? Slap it a snap. Cocktails for everyone. <laughs> That's strange. I didn't expect the resort to look like this. Or smell like this. Look, guys. I guess this is what the rich would call rustic charm. Oh. Oh, yeah. Very classy. Have you lost your brains completely or what? We're smack dab in the middle of Swampwood. Bill, but what are you doing here? I followed you all the way here. I had a feeling something funny was going on. <laughs> Check it out, guys. Bill's jealous. Come on now, Bill. You could have told us. We would have worked something out. <laughs> Ed, you have fallen into a trap. Look at him. Pfft. So how do you explain the fact that we were picked up by a limousine? And how do you explain that the limo driver was an alligator, hmm? So what? Ed, is it true that... That the limousine was, was driven by a g, -g, -g gator So they want to eat us, fried and crunchy duck nuggets. Huh? So you figured it out then. Let's talk it over at dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Aldo, get up. We need your help. What? Bill, Ed, Oli, and Waddle are in big danger. What big danger? They're in Swampwood, and they're about to be turned into tasty snacks. I don't understand what you're talking about, Raul. Haven't you heard of Colonel Snappy's Duke Nuggets? No. That is, yeah, I think I saw an ad on TV. Well, Bill and those three idiots, Ed, Oli, and Waddle, had been captured by the Colonel. But how? No time to explain. Just follow me. Madame Bevusky will explain it all.
What kind of kooky story is that? Raul made us take all kinds of crazy detours to come here. I was trying to get Aldo to do some exercise. <laughs> Our friends are in terrible danger, and you go taking a tour of Ducktown? <laughs> Bev, those are some hungry alligators. We must do something quick. You're right. Let's go. There is not a second to lose. Do you remember where Colonel Snappy's Duck Nuggets Diner is located? Well, it's been a long time since, but yeah, I should be able to find it. Aldo, you're the only one who can enter Swamphood and save our friends and bring them home safely. Uh, yeah, good plan. You go free them and bring them back here. <laughs> Raul, would you please? But how many are there? According to my, uh information. There must be lots! You're right, Bev. I'm the only one who can save them. I better get going. Good luck, Aldo! Hey, Aldo! Good luck with the dukes!
my hero. He did it! I just can't believe it! It was nothing. I'm pretty good at catching ducks. <laughs> Thanks, Aldo. You saved our lives. Aldo, you saved us from being a bag of tasty snacks. I'll never call you Broccoli Head again. You are one cool gator. Yep, it's cool to be green. Hey, normally Waddle should jump in now. <laughs> <laughs> to work at the bowling ball factory. If we can get there before lunchtime, we can still save Waddle. I'll fly ahead to check it out. I'll be waiting at the entrance to the bowling ball factory. For once, he's going to be of some help. Okay, Bill. I'm going to go really fast. So you'll have to do everything you can to keep up with me. We're off.
The good news is Waddle is still alive, but he is stored in the kitchen. Okay, I'm going in alone. It's way too dangerous for you guys in there. Especially since it's almost meal time. Fine, crows know when they're not wanted. Well, I'm going in. Good luck, Aldo.
Attention! There's a duck in the factory! There's a duck in the factory! Let's get him! I can almost taste that duck now! What's going on, Aldo? Open the door! Quick, everybody run! <laughs> I can't hold on much longer. We can't. Waddle has fainted, and besides, the gators are too fast. They'd be sure to catch us. That's because you can't fly. <laughs> Very funny, Raul. We've got to do something, and fast. And fast! Maybe we could scare them. But how? Alligators aren't afraid of anything. Oh, yes. One thing. Quack the Ripper. Great idea, Dukeru. And I know where to find a Duke the Ripper disguise for you to put on. Quickly, come with me, or we'll never have enough time. Away like little ducklings. <laughs> Who's the baddest duck you ever did see? It's me! Good job, Raoul. Yes, I am amazing. You saved us in the nick of time. But now we have to go through Swampwood to get home. Leave it to me. Alligators are afraid of me. I can lead you through Swampwood. Okay, fearless leader. But it won't be that easy. 
just one little problem in Swamp. Uh, Millions of alligators! <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo! Oh, great. Now you made Waddle faint again. We should move on before the alligators realize they've been tricked. But what about Waddle? Don't worry. Raul can take him and we'll follow. And you take the scooter. Okay. Go as fast as you can. This is a race for your life. Okay. Here we go again.
not bad for a duck who can't fly. You didn't fly that fast for a crow. Waddle's a lot of dead weight. What? Huh? Alligators? Hey, the dead weight is coming alive. <laughs> <laughs> So it was a terrible ordeal, but with a happy ending. But it's a fantastic story. But we have to remember, a free prize never comes without a cost. Yes, but what about all the other flyers that are still around Ducktown? That's true. We'll have to deal with that later. Now you, Waddle, I think that you've earned yourself an extra triple milkshake. With a triple serving of tadpoles. And a generous sprinkling of algae. Waddle sure is getting the royal treatment. You're not drinking it. What's wrong with you? I don't feel so great. You've been under a lot of stress. Sure, fighting all those alligators, Waddle. Yeah, that's it. Aldo? Listen, Waddle, it's no problem. We all understand. Yeah, it's no problem. We'll just eat it for you. It's a funny thing. I feel much better all of a sudden. It's funny. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> 